now. It's been a while, and that's because I have something very important to show you. Right in front of you is a new setup for a new LEGO display that I will be starting in a new space where I am now living. So I have moved out of my parents' house and into a space that has much better room for me. And I hope to put, produce many more videos everyone will love there, as well as focus on building a large LEGO Ninjago-styled city using some sets and some mocks. And so I think this is going to be a big challenge that I would like to share with you all. So right now, this is the finished product of the base plates that are laid out on a new Ikea table and chair setup. I have some bins stored under the table right now of parts of the sets, but they're based off of some Ikea cubbies and put onto a single tabletop, which if we go down here, you can see that's holding up all the base plates. Now, the base plates are hanging over the edge a little bit, but I consider that to be okay because there wasn't a larger table size than this for me to work with, and I think this overall will help me work. I am using these plates that you can buy at the Dollar Tree, so if you'd like to pick up some for your own, you don't have to go spending a whole load of wasted money going to purchase off some of these plates from the Lego group themselves. Now, I will show, fast forward to where I've finished putting the tracks in, and I will show you the next steps of what I'm doing for this city. And now I've put all the, in the tracks for the train layout that's going in here. This is my first time doing a train layout that I'm actually displaying to YouTube, and I think it came out pretty good. I made it so that the train station set that I got years ago has room for both of the platforms to attach to two tracks. As you can see, we have my modified version of the red passenger train from LEGO City here that I'll be doing a review t showing how I've modified it and what sets you might want to get to be able to purchase pieces to add to this. So moving away from this track here, we have the switch and it just does a simple loop. I have some train stations and accessories placed around the track and I'm gonna try running this train for the first time in a while. And after I'm done running this train, You'll have to come back later on to see what we do next as we add some of these buildings and stuff that's up here on the top here. So let me come over here and grab the remote. And off it goes. So the track does lean over the edge of the table a little bit, but it doesn't affect the way the train runs. So the train can run smoothly throughout the track still. And even though it's an empty display right now and just has the train going, it gives a good opportunity to see how the train actually runs. And this does work with any of the battery-powered trains. However, I did not use the 9-volt track or any of the other voltage tracks from the low lower gauges of LEGO trains released before these battery-powered trains did. So I don't have the ability to add that particular set of tracks to it. However, I think this is a good setup because most of the trains they're releasing nowadays and almost guaranteed all of the ones in the future will be capable to work on these tracks. As you can see, that this, since this is an older train, it has very little control over the speed. Like, I'm controlling the dial over here and it's not doing much. But it still moves around at a decent speed. Let me see if I can get it to stop here at the station. Pretty good. It still stops okay. That's good to see. So, uh, thank you for watching this video, and welcome to my newest LEGO City design, and join me as I start filling it up with different things, as well as more reviews coming up soon, because the January wave looks to be a pretty good hit for some of those themes like Ninjago and City. So you'll have to wait and see which sets I decide to pick up when they release. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And make sure the trains can keep running on these tracks. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.